Hey, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and I'm in Cali. Oh my god. I feel like the last eight or nine videos have been about how I'm moving to California, or I'm getting my stuff ready to move to California, or how I'm moving to freaking California. And now I'm here. Woohoo, California. Disclaimer, I really wanted this to be huge, to be like, oh my god, look at the things Ryan is doing in California, look at the beaches, and the tan people, and the palm trees, look at his crazy, glamorous life. But that video, even if I was near a beach or a celebrity, would be a lie. California isn't glamorous. So far, California has been fun, but not better or more anything in any kind of substantial way. So this video is about that, about not being glamorous. So far in my new apartment, in my new home, I have tripped on the sidewalk, briefly, thank God, lived without the internet. It almost killed me. And I have also fought a long, hard battle, an eventually victorious battle, against the shower curtain. One trip to Target for a shower curtain. One trip to Target for shower curtain holders. Just for kicks, a trip to Target for a trash can so that I might throw away the packaging that the shower curtain came in. And a fourth trip to Target when I realized I bought a broken trash can. I am not the sharpest shopper. And bear with me for a second, but I believe that there's a lesson somewhere in this boring toil about imagining, and specifically about imagining the lives of others. Because so often there is a void between how we imagine that someone lives their lives and the day-to-day -day reality of living that life. And for that matter, this also applies to how we imagine our own futures and remember our own pasts. And in doing so, we create a gulf between our non-special lives and their obviously spectacular lives, or our own blissful pasts. In the end, you've got to have faith, imagination be damned, that other humans do mundane, mind-numbing things every day. Beyonce farts in her sleep, and it does not smell like perfume. President Obama gets stuff stuck in his teeth, and Ellen DeGeneres stubs her toe. The gorgeous girl in geometry class sometimes drives to the post office, only to find out that the post office is closed. And sometimes, California means a parking lot. I will see you all next Monday. Best wishes. Hey, beautiful people of the internet, my name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing an eerily good book. Book? Book? Today I'm going to be reviewing an eerily good book called The Circle by Dave Eggers. Isn't this like the greatest color for a book? I'm slightly obsessed with books that win at the whole attention-grabbing game without acting like they're even playing the attention-grabbing game. Ah, I'm sorry, off topic, okay. When I started writing this vlog, I thought I was saying something very important, which I still feel. But I also felt like a lot of writers feel at times, I think. Like I was saying something that no one had ever said before, and no one would ever say better. Now that it's over, I feel as if I've written something similar to like a poor man's This Is Water, uh, which I'll put in the description below.